Hello, Virgos. Hello to all of the Virgos out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the third week in July. This reading is for all of my Virgos out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy and my vibe, you feel like I'm the reader for you and you want to show some support, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and hit that thumbs up image. If you need a personal reading, the link to the email address is in the description box. I have one slot open for a free reading for the month of July. In order to be considered, you have to be a subscriber. Like this video and comment below, leaving your email address so that I know how to reach you. I have one more slot open for a free reading. Okay. All right. Virgos energy. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos. Virgo, you have the King of Cups here. Starting you off with that King of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the World card could be done with a fixed sign, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Taurus, Queen of Pentacles, the Ego, Leo's energy, Balance, Libra's energy. The Eight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Wands. So, with the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck and the King of Cups, You, you, you may be stressed about <clears throat> positive opportunities that you feel are unattainable and you feel as if they are unattainable because you may want things to move quickly or faster than they are moving. Some of you are devoted husband and wives you feel safe in the situation that you are in but i feel like you have hid hidden emotions because something is not moving fast enough and it's causing you to be in your head there may be unexpected events and things that occur that are out of your control and this causes this um this 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 stressful feeling with the world card some of you may be thinking about traveling going on a trip or you may travel um for business with this um 8 of wands some of you may travel for business with the world card you want to be free to do what you want to do. You want to be free to do what you want to do, but I feel like things are unbalanced for you. You want to accomplish something that will bring in financial stability. It will allow you to do something you love for and with your family. I feel like you are in some type of mental entrapment, but it's all an illusion. This is your ego. This is your ego. And spirit is saying, accept 
your part in the situation, accept your part in the choices that you have made for your life, accept your part for the addictions, for the unhealthy habits that you have in your life, and balance things out, and balance things out. Could be dealing with a Libra or have Libra in your chart. Take the blindfold off. Come out of the illusion of entrapment and know that because of a lack of confidence, it causes helplessness, the feeling of helplessness. However, when you take the blindfold off and take responsibility for your life, things will start to move in the direction you want it to. And you can move towards the things that you love and the things that you want and the people that you want. <clears throat> but you have to make a choice. So you have to make a choice to do that. So with that, um, with that being said, the decision is yours. Okay. I need a second. Marvin, you got the dog? I'm sorry. I heard something. <laughs> something, you know, usually um, as, a, as a tarot reader, and uh, if you ever um, notice that when we hear something out of the ordinary, sometimes we, um, depending on what it is, sometimes we move through it and sometimes we have to be like, you know what, I have to get up and see what that is. Okay. So. So you're, you want to wish fulfillment with that nine of cups. But again, you want it to come in fast and it's not time you have to wait because there is a delay there's a delay there's a delay and something that you're very passionate about like you are a passionate person delay the delay is you making this decision so this delay is has nothing to do with anyone else, it's, it's you making this decision. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see, the moon card, Cancer Pisces energy. There's some uncertainty here. You feel like you're stuck. It's like the same thing over and over again. You feel stuck. Like you can't move forward. You can't you 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 can't get there and you're trying to balance things out you're trying to be patient you're trying to do things in moderation but with this emperor it's like you have to nurture whatever it is that you want to do you have to nurture it like it's a baby and you have to watch it grow. Like you have to plant the seed. You have to water it. You have to make sure it gets enough sunlight. You have to educate yourself about it. You have to nurture it. In order for things to be balanced for you. And I don't know why I'm hearing spirit is saying. This is chess not checkers. So this is chess, not checkers means that you have to strategically 
plan out what it is that you want to want that you want to do, but you have to move strategically. You have to move strategically. Or else you're not going to be able to move forward. The chariot in reverse. Again, the five of pentacles in reverse. You're not going to be able to move forward and you're not going to have this completion that you want. You're not going to feel secure and, and, and feel at home until you take control, until you nurture what it is that you want to do, until you take this risk and step out and do what it is that you want to do for you. And with this judgment card, you have to make a judgment call. You have to make the judgment call. In order to maintain the balance in your life. To maintain balance in your finances. To maintain balance in your relationships. To maintain balance in your life. This is something that Spirit is saying you have to work on. You have to nurture this could be something that has to do with the mother or father of your children. A mother or a father. This is something. It's like nurturing. Nurturing your uh, business endeavors. Nurturing whatever it is that you want to do. Or you're trying to get to. Whatever type of relationships that you encounter. is nurturing. It, 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 they have to be nurtured. In order for you to see eye to eye. You could have mirroring energy with someone. You and someone else may have mirroring energy. And Spirit is saying, nurture that relationship. Nurture that person. So that you can have this new beginning. Because right now you're bored, discontent. And you have stress. There's worries here because you are trying to balance things out for everyone. You have so many people that you are giving to, giving to or that you may want to give to. And you're trying to balance everything out. But it's not working. And Spirit is saying now it's time to take action. To do what it is that you have to do for you. Because it's like this. If 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 we don't take care of ourselves. And I mean like outside of what we do every day. Outside of our families. If you don't take care of yourself. You're not going to be any good to anyone else. And you may have to with the page of Pentacles start from the beginning. Some of you are waiting for a message to come in. Waiting for a message to come in that um, will, um, I'm seeing, I'm, I don't know why I'm feeling like arrogance, like, a, a, like arrogance, um, I don't know, I'm feeling like arrogance just dropped out of nowhere. And I'm hearing the word, be humble. I'm hearing the words, be humble. In order to have this victory that you want. And this change. And tame yourself. Tame yourself. Be humble. Tame yourself. Yes, it's going to require you to have strength and courage. Leo's energy. But be humble. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your inner self. Meditate and think on it. Withdraw your energy, and this is your energy, Virgo. Withdraw your energy from people, places, and things that no longer serve you, and things will start to move quickly. And the change that you want will occur when you do that. <clears throat> now, all of the, most of the readings tonight, 
all, all of them were about, not about love. Not like solely around a relationship. Okay, so you want something of quality and here go that, that arrogance again. But you want something of quality. But again, Spirit is saying be humble. Don't be an enemy to yourself or the people around you. And then you will get the gift that you want. Your wishes will be fulfilled. And here's the child at the bottom of the deck. You have to you have to nurture this again like it's a baby. I'm going to leave it at that, Virgos. This is your reading for the week of the third week in July. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. If this is pertaining to a relationship, Spirit is saying, nurture your relationship like this is a new relationship. But comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.